Hello everyone, my name's Josh Bell and this is your IntoOutdoors.com update. The year was 1958 when Gerald Crew reported unusually large footprints on his California construction site. And everyone was 110% sure that those footprints belonged to the animal formerly known as Sasquatch. Then shortly after Gerald Crew died, his family came forward and said, you know what? The whole thing was a prank. Then in 1967, Roger Patterson and Robert Gimlin got Bigfoot on video camera. And again, everyone believed that they had evidence of Bigfoot. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's Bigfoot. Got him on camera, baby. Kodak moment. Then that turned out to be a hoax, too. Then in 2008, two men from Georgia found the body of Bigfoot. CNN, Fox, and all the other news stations rushed to the press conference awaiting the results of the Bigfoot autopsy. And this time I like to think that the Bigfoot believers were a little bit cocky. Autopsy, Bigfoot's body, and real scientists. How you like them apples? But there was just one problem. Once again, they got punked. The body had fake hair, a hollow head, and rubber foots. Hmm. Seems like old Sasquatch is a pretty sneaky fella. And you know, for some reason, people doubt Bigfoot's existence. But don't worry. There's an organization called the Texas Bigfoot Research Conservancy, whose goal is to get people to take Bigfoot seriously. This past Saturday, the organization held a conference in Tyler, Texas. They had over a dozen speakers and were expecting anywhere from 800 to 1,000 people. The organization will discuss important things like how they conduct Bigfoot reports, as well as what Bigfoot eats. According to the TBRC website, Bigfoot is a big fan of chickens. The website also mentioned that they had two compelling photos of Bigfoot, but... You can't see them unless you go to the conference. They're not going to put them online. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that those are probably a prank, maybe. And that's just the vibe I'm getting. Well, anyway, what do you think about Bigfoot? Is he real? Is he fake? Yay, nay, maybe? Or are you like Uncle Squash here and think that Bigfoot's about as believable as the Blair Witch? Leave a comment and let me know. We won't make fun of you too bad. Um... Keep in mind there is no physical evidence of Bigfoot, no bones have been found, just crazy video recordings and stuff. Well, that does it for today's show. I hope you guys liked it. Also, as usual, I have links in the description for you guys. One for Wikipedia, where I got the history on Bigfoot, and the other one to the TBRC website. And with all that being said, my name's Josh Bell. And you just got into outdoors.